హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఈరోజు మనము ప్రీవియస్ డిఎస్సికి సంబంధించి ఇంగ్లీష్ బుక్స్ చూద్దాము ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ద నావలిస్ట్ హూ బిలాంగ్స్ టు ద నైన్టీన్త్ సెంచురీ ఈజ్ ఆప్షన్ వన్ జాన్ బన్యన్ ఆప్షన్ టూ శామ్యుయల్ రిచర్డ్సన్ ఆప్షన్ త్రీ బెంజమిన్ డిస్రాయలీ ఆప్షన్ ఫోర్ హెన్రీ ఫీల్డింగ్ So correct answer is option 3, Benjamin Disraeli. Next is second question. The English drama Coriolanus was written by option 1, William Shakespeare, option 2, Samuel Beckett, option 3, Tom Stoppard, option 4, Ben Johnson. The English drama Coriolanus was written by William Shakespeare. So option 1 is correct answer. Next third question. The scholar Gypsy was option 1. A novel written by Henry Fielding. Option 2. A drama written by Oscar Wilde. Option 3. A poem written by Matthew Arnold. Option 4. A short story Right, written by R.K. Narayan. So correct answer option 3 a poem written by Matthew Arnold so this, the scholar gypsy and a poem a poem never as an ante Matthew Arnold next fourth question the souls of black folk was a collection of option 1 14 poems option 2 14 essays Option 3, 4 novels. Option 4, 12 short stories. The Souls of Black Folk was a collection of 14 essays. So option 2 is correct answer. Next the question. In diary writing, one should option 1. Not be factual. Option 2. Be virtually honest and express all feelings, thoughts and opinions. Option 3. Record events that bring only happy memories. Option 4. Record events that bring only sad memories. So correct answer option 2. 
in diary writing one should be virtually honest and express all feelings thoughts and opinions next is sixth question the general mood feeling or spirit of a story is called option 1 flash card option 2 irony option 3 foreshadowing option 4 atmosphere so correct answer is option 4 atmosphere next the seventh question the intellectual context that you establish for your topic and thesis in an essay is called option 1 motive option 2 evidence option 3 analysis option 4 resolution the intellectual context that you establish for your topic and thesis in an essay is called motive option 1 is correct answer next eighth question the sounds produced with both lips are option 1 labio dental option 2 bilabial option 3 alveolar option 4 palate alveolar the sounds produced with both lips are called bilabial so option 2 is correct answer next ninth question the degree of force with which sound or label of a word is uttered is called option 1 intonation option 2 stress option 3 rhythm option 4 pause the degree of force with which sound or syllable of a word is uttered is called stress option 2 is correct answer next 10th question choose the phonetic sound of the underlined letters in between so ikkada double e ki underline cheyabadindi kada aa sound ki sambandhinchina phonetic sound ni manam gurtinchali between సో ఇక్కడ మనకు ఏ సౌండ్ పలుకుతుంది అంటే ఈ అనే సౌండ్ మనకు పలుకుతుంది సో ఈ అనే లెటర్ వచ్చినప్పుడు మనం ఫనెటిక్ సింబల్ ఏది యూజ్ చేస్తామంటే ఆప్షన్ టూ
next eleventh question this is the man who works hard the underlined word who is option one a relative adjective option two an adjective option three an interrogative pronoun option four a relative pronoun सो इक हू अने अंत और रिटटिव प्रणव सो आपशन फोर इज करेक्ट आसर नैक्स्ट ट्वेल क्वेश्चन चूज द अडक्टिव दट इंडिकेट क्वांटिटी आपशन वन मच आपशन टू फनी आपशन थ्री हानेस्ट आपशन फोर डिफिकल क्वांटी की ईक्वल अडक्टिव मन चूज चेयर सो करेक्ट आसर इज आपशन वन मच मच अने क्वांटी अने दाने इंडिकेट का बट्टी सो इक मच मच अने अडक्टिव क्वांटी ने इंडिकेट नैक्स्ट थर्टींत क्वेश्चन द रेडियो हाज डाश अबउट द सैक्लोन चूज द करेक्ट फॉम आफ द वर्ब That fits the blank. Option one announced. Option two announces. Option three announce. Option four announcing. The radio has announced about the cyclone. So option one is correct answer. Next fourteenth question. Choose the grammatically correct sentence. Option one. Students usually admitting mistakes. Option two, students admits mistakes. Option three, students usually admit their mistakes. Option four, students usually are admit mistakes. सो इक फोर सेंटनस ग्रमेटिकली करेक्ट सेंटेंस एंटे आपशन थ्री स्टूडेंट यूजुअली अडमिट दियर मिस्टेक्स नैक्स्ट फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन कथक इज द बिगेस्ट टाउन इन ओरीसा चूज द नेगटिव स्टेटमेंट सारी नेगटिव सेंटेंस विदउट चेजिंग द मीन आपशन वन नो अदर टाउन इन ओरीसा इज सो बिग ऐस कथक Option two, Orissa is not as big as Katak. Option three, Katak is not bigger than Orissa. Option four, Orissa and Katak are very big. सो इन आपशन वन इज करेक्ट आसर
no other town in orissa is so big as kathak next 16th question the players return home when the sun set this is a option 1 simple sentence option 2 a negative sentence option 3 a compound sentence option 4 a complex sentence So option four is correct answer. A complex sentence. The players return home when the sun set. Ani the oka complex sentence. Next seventeenth question. Choose the grammatically correct sentence. Option one. Duty is God. Option two. The duty is the God. Option three. The duty is a God. Option four. The duty is God. सो इक ग्रमटिकली करेक्ट सेंटेंस एंटे आपशन वन ड्यूटी इज गॉड नैक्स्ट एटीन क्वेश्चन चूज द ग्रमटिकली करेक्ट सेंटेन् आपशन वन ई गो टू द चर्च आन द सडे आपशन टू ई गो टू द चर्च आन सड़े आपशन थ्री ई गो टू द चर्च आन एंड सड़े option 4 i go to church on sundays सो इक ग्रमटिकली करेक्ट सेंटेन्स एंटे आपशन फोर ई गो टू चर्च आन सड़े नैक्स्ट नयटीन क्वेश्चन ही वाज गेजिंग डाश द स्पेक्टकल आपशन सॉ चूज द करेक्ट प्रिपोजिशन आपशन वन टू आपशन टू एट आपशन थ्री आफ आशन फोर इन सो इक करेक्ट आंसर वे आपशन टू एट ही वाज गेजिंग एट द स्पेक्टकल नैक्स्ट ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन चूज द ग्रमटिकली करेक्ट सेंटन आपशन वन ई हाव लफ्ट फर् गुंटूर आपशन टू हार्डवर्क इज द की बै सक्से आपशन थ्री ऐ एम प्रउड वित् यू आपशन फोर शी इज ग्रेटफुल वित् मी सो इक ग्रमटिकली करेक्ट सेंटेंस एंटे आपशन वन ई हाव लफ्ट फर् गुंटूर मिगली मूड सेंटनस रांग सेंटनस एंकंटे हार्डवर्क इज द की टू सक्से अवाली की टू सक्से नैक्स्ट ऐ एम प्रउड आफ यू अवाली नैक्स्ट थर्ड थर्ड स्टेटमेंट शी इज ग्रेटफुल टू मी
Next, 21st question. Translation of reference books was earlier recommended by Option 1. RTE 2009 Option 2. POE 1992 Option 3. SCF 2011 Option 4. NPE 1968 So here correct answer is option 2 POA 1992 programmer for action. Next 22nd question. The following envisages free and compulsory education for all the children in the age group of 6 and 14 years as a fundamental right. Option 1. The 68th Constitution Amendment Act 2002 Option 2. CAPE 1920 Option 3. NCF 2005 Option 4. SCF 2011 So here the correct answer is Option 1 the 68th Constitution Amendment Act 2002. Next, 23rd question. Banishment of mother tongue is seen. Option 1. In CCE. Option 2. In bilingual method. Option 3. In direct method. Option 4. In regional method. So banishment of mother tongue is seen in indirect method. Next 24th question. Forming speech habits is the hallmark of option 1 GT method and a grammar translation method. Option 2 total physical response. Option 3 direct approach. Option 4 structural approach. Forming speech habits is the hallmark of structural approach. So option 4 is correct answer. Next 25th question. The purpose of using visual aids in teaching is Option 1. To attract the attention of the students. Option 2. To provide relief to the teachers. Option 3. To provide enjoyment. Option 4 to provide entertainment. The purpose of using visual aids in teaching is to attract the attention of the students. Option 1 is correct. Next 26th question. Choose the authentic material from the following. Option 1. Main reader. Option 2. Supplementary reader. Option 3. Workbook. Option 4. An advertisement in a newspaper. So the correct answer is option 4, an advertisement in a newspaper. Next 27 question, 
choose the perfect progression in reading option 1 symbol sound sense option 2 sounds symbol shape option 3 sense shape symbol option 4 sound shape sense Perfect progression in reading AD ante option 1. Symbol, sound, sense. Next 28 question. Listening to the directions of somebody to reach a place comes under. Option 1. Dry listening. Option 2. Extensive listening. Option 3. Intensive listening. Option 4. Casual listening. Listening to the directions of somebody to reach a place comes under intensive listening. Option 3 is correct. Next 29th question. Suggestopedia is related to option 1. Pseudoscience. Option 2. Structural approach. Option 3. Direct method. Option 4. Grammar learning. So, suggestopedia is related to pseudoscience. Option 1 is correct. Next, last question, 30th question. Total physical response believes in Option 1. Learning by watching the television Option 2. Learning through reading Option 3. Learning through lectures Option 4. Learning by doing. Total physical response believes in learning by doing so option 4 is correct